anyway, what's up guys, Shuman here, welcome back to another video. So, it's been a while since I posted for multiple reasons, and um, I kind of regret it because recently I've come into the conclusion that it's better to do one thing that's really bad than procrastinate over doing something perfect and never doing anything at all. What was it? I think Michael Jordan said that you miss every single shot that you don't take. So um, if you want to know more, I've got a video on my health channel about just 2019 and how I, like consistency is going to be my keyword and not to worry too much about, you know, what to sort of say and what to sort of do. But apart from that, today it is no fat day, hell knows. Um, and just to address a question, first of all, uh, someone commented on my video that it was weird that the trees behind me still had their leaves in winter. Um, just to let them know, not all trees shed their leaves in winter. And uh, you can probably see some trees that are already gone. So, it's kind of so I'm going to take you down memory lane to when um, I was a cuck. Um, this was back a long, long, long time ago when I was still a wee brainwashed lad who thought that women were sugar, spice, everything nice and that they couldn't do anything wrong. Um, this obviously came from a long line of indoctrination. You know, you, you're going to school, you're taught how, you know, girls are, girls are just like, they're, they're almost like a separate entity almost. And they're all sugar spice and everything nice, like I said before. And obviously you're young, so you're not really taught that. And uh, it was quite interesting because a long time ago, back in Arana's primary school, I would consider myself a bit of a pimp. I had girlfriends back then. This is when I was like 9, 10. And uh, we, we'd go into the bathroom and experiment and stupid shit like that. And it's like, it's funny how you're born alpha, basically, is what I'm saying, is that most men are actually born alpha, but it's, it gets indoctrinated out of them. And this was especially true for me, because when I was going through around about my secondary school, I started to really fall for all that programming that said that all oh, women are sugar spice and everything nice, and you should be nice to them. And ah, nice. Oh, nah, be nice to, the, oh. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm trying to say this, but I have a very vivid imagination. The idea that you should be, like, I'm trying to, I'm cringing as I'm thinking back to all the stupid things that I've done because I fell for this piece of bullshit propaganda. But basically, after I started to fall for this propaganda, um, I had, when I went into secondary school and after I graduated from school, I, I look back and I realize just how much I understood absolutely so little about the game and female psychology that I basically was the ultimate nice guy. I was the one that would always hold the door. I was the one that always would, you know, buy their presents. And in a way, it's actually, it actually became quite toxic because if you know a bit about nice guys is that they're actually quite manipulative. What they want is that they want sex transactionally. They think that, oh, if I do this, that and the other for you, I am, I am entitled to sex. Now, you can't say that this is 100% mental because women often leverage this to their own benefit and they have loads of beta guys guys who you know do favors for them and this that and the other while they're off you know fucking the alpha or maybe they're giving the beta the time of day because he has a lot of resources but i was that beta guy i was the guy that would hold the door i was the guy that was very nice and i could never understand why is it that despite all everything that i'm doing i couldn't get laid this is when i was around about 16 17 and it would frustrate me because men have a habit of become well men tend to get extremely insecure when they find that they don't have the ability to have the amount of sexual partners that at least our culture tells us that we should have it's looked to us looked down as as like part of shame as like oh at least in my environment i think i lost my virginity uh eight, 18 i think I, I think it was 18 it wasn't because I, I believed that you should do it at 18 it was just because i was useless until that point and even then it wasn't even out yeah, too much details so i used to be a bad cock and um one hilarious story, my first of a girlfriend, I never actually saw, well, I knew her for two months. I, don't judge me, I did not sleep with her once. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, I did not sleep with her once in two months. And the reason for that was, again, I was beta. I didn't understand that, I didn't understand the shit test. I didn't understand that being nice, sugar and spice and all that other shit wasn't actually going to work and what happened is that she strung me along and, she, and funnily enough when I actually look when I actually look back at it now that I understand more about female psychology I understand that she was constantly giving me shit tests again and again and again and again and again she was constantly giving me shit tests and I was failing every single one because I was trying to be nice all the time now this happened again the second time where I did well the next girlfriend that I had I didn't sleep with until at least a month into the relationship now some guys are fine with that some guys think that oh, okay that's like some sort of a chase but my policy is if you're not fucking here after like the first week or at least the first fourth or fifth time that that, that you're actually seeing her get the fuck out of there like that like you're wasting your time there's a million and other, there's a million and other fish in the sea 
Um, and what you find is that most people who are like that generally have some sort of a scarcity mentality. So they will be, they, they think that, oh, a woman has finally given, given attention to me. That means that, you know, all of my, I'm, I'm finally being, being, being validated and, and, you know, stuff like that. And um, it's because they are, they have been raised without that sort of sense that they are okay in and of themselves. And most of the, and the main reason for that is either they've been raised with an extremely weak father or an overbearing mother. Now, I actually want to make a no fact video and I think the next one is, is going to be titled this. It is slay your mother and dominate your father. Slay your mother and dominate your father. Not in real life, but up here. You have to slay your mother because if you don't, then what happens is you're going to try and find your mother in your girlfriend. So you're going to be clingy. You're going to be old, you know, or a partner. Oh, I want her because she can complete me. Blah, 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 blah. Why? Because you never receive. Why? Because you never receive the right kind of love that your mother should have given you. Oh, oh, you know, or, you know, you want to prove yourself to her because I want that. I want validation. This and the other. Why? Because your father never gave you the validation that you wanted. You have to slay the mother and dominate the father otherwise then every other relationship that you will have will just be trying to fill those needs that your parents never gave you i think that deserves its whole its whole damn thing but anyway so i was absolutely better and it was only until i was around about 22 23 that i, that I did actually try that I, that I actually started to understand the game and this is this was around about the time that i did some more physical healing on myself as well because my hormones are really, really messed up but after I started to take iodine, after I started to fix my thyroid, after I started to do sorts of other stuff, my sex drive went off and, and other stuff corrected itself, let's just say. And it was around about that time that I actually decided to say like, oh, okay, you know, um, I, I, I understand things wrong. All this conditioning is wrong. Everything that I've known about women is wrong. And let's actually try and actually, you know, go around and actually fix this. And um, it was around about when I was 24 that I actually did, to, uh, did discover NoFap and I discovered the quote unquote manosphere. That's a group of some men who, go, who try basically to help men, basically a tribe of guys who are meant to help each other to become a better grounded version of themselves. Completely contradictory to everything that, that, that I'd learned. I just thought that men were just meant to learn it, you know, they were just meant to be thrown to the walls and then they'd learn it. But actually I didn't realize that men learn better in packs than they do alone. It was a lesson that I really hoped that other people understand especially when it comes to nofap i think if not for the fact that i had a community i would not have actually passed nofap on the actual subject of nofap because this is a nofap video um i'm kind of concerned with a few things mainly online um and i think i'll do it on the nofap video about it specifically is that nofap is not the only answer uh, the reason why I'm telling you this story and the reason why I told you about all the other stuff is that NoFap is just one piece of the puzzle. You can get obsessed with it. It can become, you can put all of your eggs in one basket to the point where it can, it can be a bit of a concern to you. And this is specifically addressed to a YouTuber that I've seen who just put out a video um, called, the guy's called 27 Batman. I saw his video recently when he was like, you know, he's been trying to do it for as long as I can remember anyway. And um, he's got, he's already got to day 90, but he's restarting his video restarting his nofap and basically what he's saying is that if i don't if i relapse after 365 days i'm going to delete my channel and it's like that's a typical example of when you take you put all your eggs in one basket and you don't see that masculinity and overcoming your life is a multifaceted issue if you focus solely on one thing it will become your whole world and that def definitely did happen to me because what will happen is if you have all of your self-esteem in just one thing you will eventually start to you know you will eventually you know judge all of your character and judge all of your self-worth based on whether or not you can actually achieve said thing and so what happens if you don't achieve it you are you feel bad oh you know my life will begin and i had this as well with lots of other stuff oh my life is shit and my life will begin once i finish this i'm not saying that this was him this is just myself now oh if only i can overcome this that and the other then i'll be happy then i'll be this that and the other no it's a constant ongoing learning process it's a constant ongoing learning process so just hang in there. So that's what I wanted to say for today. I actually did want to talk a bit about um, women's sexual market value and women hitting the wall because that's a really interesting uh, subject that I'm starting to see. Basically, TLDR, women after they get to a certain age start to get baby rabies. And I'm starting to see some of my old friends from school get that baby rabies. And a lot of it was because they wasted a lot of their earlier days either studying or... Um, which I'm not saying that women shouldn't study. It's just that you got to keep in mind that your, your sexual facility goes down after like 25 or is it 22 or 25? And you find that after women around about the age, like in their early 30s, they start to get baby rabies. And I'm, I'm starting to see some of my old school friends. They're not there yet because I'm not nearly 30, but, but I'm, I'm starting to see it. And um, it's, it's quite funny. <laughs> I think I've got a few funny stories. That's all I'm going to say for you today. Hopefully the microphone worked this time because I'm using someone else's phone to record this because my phone's broken down. Three men out and peace.